Today is Sunday, March 1st, and this is News from the Front. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of News from the Front. We start this week with some bad news for uh, owners who are waiting for the right-hand drive dual motor cars. This week, Jérôme Guillon, who's the Vice President of Worldwide Sales and Service, sent an email out to all the prospective owners saying that due to limitations with the parts availability, those cars aren't going to be available now until August. Those owners had originally been given uh, May delivery dates, so things have slipped a couple of months. Now, this may be still tied to some challenges that are going on with the Port of Los Angeles uh, and the ability to get parts in and out of the country. No details were given, so we're not exactly sure what the cause was, but the impact is the same. August deliveries for right-hand drive P85Ds. And the bad news doesn't stop there, unfortunately. For folks who've already got the P85D over here in uh, the US and elsewhere with the left-hand drive version, uh, sounds like there is a bug in version 6.1. It was recommended that owners use range mode to turn on the talk sleep capability that I turned, uh, talked about in episode 21 of News from the Frunk. Uh, so this improves the efficiency of the dual motor configuration. Well, it turns out that uh, certainly with some of the subversions of 6.1, if you put range mode on, unfortunately, in some situations, and we're not exactly sure why, uh, the cars are shutting down. Now, Tesla is actively working on that. They've got the logs from those cars, uh, and there should be a bug fix coming very soon. But um, somewhat worrying that something that significant could creep into uh, the software. It looks like they're going to have to improve their testing regime pretty significantly. However, it's not all bad news for the dual motor variant of Model S. The S85D is now shipping, and owners are starting to take delivery. In other good news, two things that have been promised for a very long time are finally shipping. Uh, one of the somewhat trivial criticisms of Model S is that there aren't enough cup holders. Well, finally, Tesla has started shipping the rear center console that they demoed 18 months ago, maybe. Um, so it is uh, much like the, the front console, it's uh, color matched to the leather and to uh, whatever trim you have in the car, it fits in the center of the three seats. Uh, and in the US at least is priced between $600 and $700 depending on which trim you get, which version of leather and whether you get piano black or lacewood or um, I think the most expensive is carbon fiber at $700. Another item that's finally arrived is the Chademo adapter. This is to take advantage of the uh, non-supercharger DC infrastructure. So Chademo is a standard that came out of Japan. It lets you charge up to 67 kilowatts uh, and uh, requires a special adapter for use with the Model S. Again, been promised for a very long time. And although the store still says coming soon, some owners have actually taken delivery now. Um, I think it costs $450, uh, and so if you have a Chademo near you that you want to take advantage of, and maybe there isn't a supercharger there yet, um, or if you are just still concerned about the ability to get fast charging when you're doing road trips despite the supercharger infrastructure, then maybe the Chademo adapter is for you. And finally for this episode, a little quick tip that I discovered, uh, which I think is new to version 6.1 of the software. Uh, one of the things that puzzles uh, owners, and particularly uh, people who are traveling, riding with owners, is how the handles behave, and particularly what do you do to get the handles to pop out. Um, pretty much when you unlock the car, the handles pop out. When you lock the car or drive away, the handles pull in. Uh, but if you are sat waiting for a passenger to arrive, and the handles are in, the passenger walks up, uh, what do they do? Do they have to touch the handles? Do you have to unlock the car? What do you do? Well, the behavior has changed with 6.1. One of the simplest ways to get the handles to pop out used to be if you were sat in the car, parked, and the handles were in. Uh, if you just move the car into neutral and then back into park, the handles will pop out. Well, now Tesla have tweaked that a little bit, so all you've got to do now is just press the silver park button. Now, you don't have to move it out of uh, park. So if you are sat waiting for someone, a passenger is approaching, just press the little park button uh, and the handles will pop out. 
Well, that's it from this short episode of News from the Frunk. If you've got any comments, please add them below, and I'll see you again soon.